Hello everyone, in today's video I just wanted to share with you a quick tip on using attack view and customizing the information that you see visible here. So originally I was going to do another video on our Sicily series uh, with Operation Husky, which you've probably uh, been watching for the last month or so. And what I'm actually going to do is release that particular video as a non-monetized, non-announced video that's just going to be sitting in my scenarios playlist for those of you who are interested in watching it. The reason I'm not continuing that series is because I got a little frustrated. And if you actually watch the video at the very, very end, uh, you can see exactly why. It's going to take a lot of time to kind of go through and uh, tweak it again, but um, at least I got some good ideas from it. Anyway, let's get started. So as you can see, I have a uh, Tac View running here. Uh, to use Tac View, by the way, uh, you need to make sure you have Tac View Pro. You can't use the basic version or the advanced or whatever it is. And you'll notice that my little Oliver Hazard Perry here has got this little kind of data card sort of hanging off the side of him, uh, giving all sorts of details. So what I'm going to do real quickly here is I'm going to go ahead and add in an aircraft. I'll do, I'm pretty classic here. We'll do an F-14A. You know, why not? Go ahead and slap this guy in here. Let's we'll use this one. Looks like a pretty good one. I click on him. I give him an order to go ahead and move. And uh, what will happen is uh, I can actually go up here, press control and click. You'll notice that I give this little information piece. And you'll also notice if I hold my mouse over this guy, I get this huge block O text, which gives me a lot of information based on what I'm holding my mouse over. You're probably sitting there going, why is it that the information I'm seeing here is not the same as the information I get when I use my tack view? The reason is, is because tack view itself can be customized to what type of information is actually displayed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring up tack view here. I'll pop it up real fast. This is default tag view. Speaking of which, I got to come over here and actually pause this because I don't want that to be running. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a good old-fashioned uh, standard scenario here. And you'll notice that I've got my little data blocks right here, in which case this is the name of the aircraft, this is its speed, and this is its altitude. If I want to customize this, which also customizes it over in command, all you do is you come down here and you've got a bunch of little data blocks. There's two different sets. There's going to be the one that gives you the selected object labels, and there's going to be the one that gives you the unselected object labels. Like you'll notice in my unselected guys, it tells me the name of the pilot. If I hold my mouse on this one, you get the pilot name, you get the speed, you also get the altitude. So let's say we want to change the unselected one, and now we're just going to be interested in the label here. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, you can see it's unselected at the moment. Let's go down label, automatic, looks good. I'll go ahead and uncheck those other boxes as well real fast. We'll get rid of pilot name. And we'll also go ahead and get rid of, um, like I said, it's an object name. So now you can see there's absolutely nothing there because they don't have a specific label. So as a result, and, uh, you're not going to get anything to be able to see there. Let's say for unselected though, what I do want to do is I want to get the name of the object. Now you can see the little name of the object as well. So now one thing I really, really like to do, let me shut this one off real quick, is I like to actually go ahead and on unselected, you can actually do what I call ATC, which is ASL, VS, and GS. Uh, the reason this is cool, let me push that one on real fast is this gives you everything you need to know just by looking at it. We've got the name of it, we've got what its altitude is, and we also have its airspeed as well. So now if I were fast forward time here a little bit, you can see that if I were to uh, say, uh, for example, control click this guy here, uh, you can see that's going to give me that. But this one, it tells me that he's climbing, that's going to be my airspeed, and that's going to be my altitude. So now let's go ahead and close tack view here and pop back over here, go to file and go to 3D view. So what's going to happen now is it's going to open up Tac View. Give it just half a second here. And you can see now that my little uh, Tomcat here, because it is not the selected item, I just get the label on it. This guy down here on the flip side, you can see that that's going to give me that information. Ah, see how it's giving me all these pieces now? Now if I hold my mouse here, it'll do this. Now if I wanted to, I could do my uh, control click to go ahead and select somebody else. And you'll see that that information is going to be the important one. But if you also look up at my F-14, see how it gives us our ATC information at 36,000 feet. And we're also traveling 41. Now if I were to grab this guy and go ahead and order him to well, let's go drop down let's go ahead and uh, kick up to military speed you know it's in a 14 why not check it out it will now actually show you that downwards facing arrow saying that my airspeed is increasing and that my altitude is now decreasing now this is a really slick trick and it's a great way to limit the amount of information here like you can see from this oliver hazard perry this is just too much information for us so let's go back over to tack view again and clean this up just a tiny bit more press over here we'll go back to a town attack at night let's go ahead and zoom in uh, and let's tweak it just a tiny bit more to make it a little bit more friendly so let's go ahead grab this one. I like the ATC one. I don't feel like I need to change that. Oh, that works pretty well. One difference I will do, though, is I will enable it so it gives me Mach number as opposed to uh, GS. GS is great. Uh, Mach number is just going to be a little bit more appropriate for us. And let's go ahead and grab the selected objects label and I'll uh, clean this up. One thing we don't need is a pilot name here. So what you can actually do is I like to shut off object name and just leave pilot name. Uh, that makes it just a little bit simpler. You'll see exactly what I mean when it activates in a second. If you're working with a lot of tech view with um, uh, 
uh, over in, I should say, DCS. Obviously, this isn't going to work for you because you can see it just says new call sign here. And then the unselected guy over there is just going to say rotary to one. So again, you have to pick what makes sense. I'll flip it back to the way it was just to make my life a little bit simpler. There we go. Let's go pop that one over here. We'll go to a selected on uh, deselected. Only thing we're interested in here is probably the object name. We don't really need the pilot name. Again, you can decide exactly what makes most sense for you. So let's see what we got here. So we have the name. Well, we have my Tro airspeed. We have my ASL. People who are not selected. Let's go ahead and pick this guy over here, for example. We should be getting, yeah. Well, you can see that's my new mock number uh, visible over there. So let's go ahead and clean this one up as well. Um, we'll go ahead and let's see here. Pilot name. That sounds good to me. We'll shut off speed tasks. Come over here, shut off altitude. And now you can see that my selected unit is actually quite a bit simpler as far as uh, the display that it's giving me. Again, everybody's a little different. If you want to have a little bit of fun with this, of course, you know, you can come in here and uh, do squawk and bullseye and you can do like total energy. Like if you want to have a lot of fun with it, you can do mechanical energy. Like, I don't know why you would. We can't do that because unfortunately we can't calculate that directly. So it wouldn't work anyway. So don't worry about it as far as that goes. Let's see, is it going to do it for me? Yep. You can have my mechanical energy. Just kind of a fun thing. Let's pop back over to here. Let's go ahead and open up my 3D view. And watch what this awfulness is created here. Yep. So you can see my, I have a total of a 1920 uh, mechanical energy here. But notice if I hold my mouse over here, it tells us the name of that unit without giving that extra detail. So now, of course, like, you know, I want to grab this guy. Let's order him to uh, get some altitude. Let's give him some speed. Now watch this mechanical energy go boing. <laughs> And you can see the uh, difference that that creates pretty much instantaneously. Notice is the mechanical energy is uh, just coming up here. Um, we're in a bit of a climb here, so it's going to take him a little while to get kind of up to speed. But I think you can see exactly uh, kind of the difference there. So anyway, I thought that would be just kind of a neat little qu quick tip. Uh, people always ask how to get your labels. By the way, if you click on the shift button, you get this little laser pointer. If you left click on something, it's going to highlight it like that. And it's kind of fun like if you're recording videos. Oh, look at this. This is when he dies. This is when he dies. You know. Also, remember, you can hold down the control and then left click on something. And that'll go ahead and uh, select this guy, such as this Oliver Hazard Perry here. But again, have fun with this. I'm going to go back and change this probably to something a little bit simpler just to make it a little bit easier in the eyes. And notice, by the way, you have no label unless you hold your mouse over it, which makes your life a little bit simpler. Other than that, enjoy.